Hey guys, I'm back, and we're going to keep on playing my mod, A Realm of Thrones for Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. Uh, the first thing you probably notice is, is I've got the native music going. Uh, I pretty much had to do that because uh, YouTube gives me, you know, copyright uh, warnings and stuff where my videos won't be able to be played in certain countries and be blocked in certain countries. So uh, I pretty much just deleted my music file where I've pretty much... Uh, for my mod, I think it's like six or seven songs that I replaced. Uh, they're really good, for, you know, straight from the TV show. Uh, so I got rid of those, and I just put the the default native music back in, just so I can stay on in good standing with YouTube. But we're gonna keep on playing. Uh, since the last uh, Let's Play video, I have had another update. So we're on version 1.5 of my mod. I've added some Lannister, Stark, and Unsullied armors, and I've added custom companions. Uh, there's a few other things, uh, some crash fixes, uh, I can't remember off the top of the, uh, my head. I renamed some of the looters and some of the uh, minor factions, and some, the, the mercenary factions. But other than that, mostly it was just, I spent a lot of time learning how to, you know, rig and uh, do armor. So that's pretty much what I was working on most of the time. So uh, we'll see that because I actually got the uh, Stark armor on my guy. So there it is. There's the Stark armor. We got. I think my favorite one was the Lannister armor. That's why I bought these models. But I mean, the Stark armor I think looks pretty good, and the Unsullied uh, armor looks pretty good also. But there we go. We'll go ahead and just start playing. I mean, I had to. Of course, I had to start a new save since uh, the last video because this is a brand new, you know, version or whatever. A lot of stuff changed, so my save. Uh, was was messed up so I had to start a new game but I'm kind of about where I was uh, when I left that save I'm just going we'll go ahead and just check it out let's see okay right now the only companion I got is Tyrion Lannister and he's out on a caravan so he's really the only only guy I got right now uh, just trying to, you know, just pretty much testing out caravans to see how viable they are in this mod. When you start changing the map and stuff like that, the, the caravan routes get all jacked up and stuff like that. So it, it don't seem like it's as, I mean, it's definitely not as good as it was in in native. But I was also hearing that for the 1.5.10 beta that the uh, uh, caravans lost a lot of profit anyway. So it's probably it's probably a lot to do with that. And, uh, and also have to do with the fact that I changed the map up on them, that the caravans don't seem to be as profitable as they as they usually are. But other than that, I actually have three workshops, you know, a brewery in Winterfell, a pottery shop in Castle Black. I actually just purchased this, so I'm going to keep an eye on this to see if uh, this is, you know, this, this, this profit goes up. And I have a brewery in King's Landing. And I am Clan Tier 2. And my let's see what let's go check out my soldiers. I actually can hold a maximum party size of 84. I have you know a northern man at arms, dragonstone soldier, river man, uh, riverland man at arms. I got this Giscari warrior. I'm really uh, keeping an eye on these guys because the next level up, these guys can go to let's check out the troop tree real fast. I actually put a way for you to turn these guys into unsullied. So uh, that's the next. I'm probably er this early in the game. I'm probably not gonna go past level three. You know, just, they just I just don't want to pay more than five dinars soldier. So, but just to get just to get some unsullied in my army, I'll I'll level these guys up and I'll pay eight for them. I'll pay eight for some unsullied, even though that's really not lore accurate. But a uh, Giscari warrior. I got some Stormland man in arms, Northern soldier, Dragonstone footman. Giscari Footman, uh, Stormlands Levy, Riverlands Archer, Northern Bowman. The cool thing about the Northern Bowman is I just went ahead and threw a shield on them too. So uh, that's something different. Usually archers don't have a shield, but uh, just for the north, just kind of give them a little extra uh, defensive capability. I went ahead and threw a, a, a shield on there. That means that they aren't going to have any double stacks but they'll have that extra defense once the you know the, the uh, infantry catches up to them so there you go got reach archers these reach archers are some of the best in the game well not this not this particular uh, tier but 
uh, the the archers for the reach as a whole uh they level up to be you know some of the best in the game as of right now i haven't started on the volantis troop tree yet so i plan on probably putting a tiger cloak archer in there too which will be pretty good also but i hadn't thought that far ahead uh as you can tell i probably i get a lot of inspiration from uh, war of ice and fire for a lot of my stuff that's how i've kind of got my sick kingdom set up other than you know the ones that aren't on the map currently of for that mod since i kind of extended eastward uh, quite a bit more anyway let's keep on going we got a uh, reach bowman we got some, of course i'm doing that borrowed troop mission so i got one bar troop left to finish and i just went up north and i got a few nights watch recruits so i just want to keep an eye on them so that's all i got let's go ahead and just let's go ahead and just keep us probably at this point in the game we're going to be just okay where am i at okay i'm down in the riverlands right now we'll probably just keep on keeping on doing missions doing okay let's see there's a bunch of looters right here let's see I, oh here's what i was waiting on this gang link get some quick money right here i actually got this stuff in my inventory already what sort of tools i need nine of them any other way okay let's see let's go look at my i think i might have nine what i always do is is i save these little decaying hatchets decaying pickaxes and these hatchets i just kind of you know lock them and save them for this mission because it's just too profitable not to take advantage of so uh looks like i got enough already so we'll go ahead and go in here let's talk to this girl here's your cargo boom there we got a quick 2300 my charm just went up to 25 go ahead and get rid of the rest of this junk while i'm in here let's see Give me another couple hundred okay i'm gonna go ahead and just level up my guy okay i actually got let's go and do charm first let's see icebreaker when introducing yourself to lords uh for the first time have a 10 percent chance to gain two plus relation with them i don't think that's very good i mean i don't uh, uh i don't think two plus relation is good enough to pass up this 15 percent barter penalty reduce 15 percent reduced barter penalty that that's huge boom I, that's a no-brainer okay let's see this perk point I've been trying to do a new thing and instead of hiring a, 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 a doctor or a medic or whatever I've been trying to build up my medicine for myself because there's some pretty good perks in there so uh, I made I already got three I already got three in right now I'll just chill out on that for a little while let's see what I want to do I really need to work on my boat and I don't even have a boat right now my pole arm seems to be going up pretty good but I don't know exactly where it gets to to where you can't even level because I think if you get to up to a certain level let's see maybe 80 once I get to 80 I won't even be able to go any higher so hopefully I'll level up again I can put a perk point there so for right now I think I'm gonna go ahead and put it in bow and see if I can get some bow experience I'm gonna go ahead and save we're gonna do this little let's go ahead and do this little tournament while we're here Yeah, got, at least I started out with my one-handed sword, my bread and butter. But there's zero, uh, zero, uh, zero, zero doc, doc sauce or whatever. You, zero Zoan doc sauce. Oh, we got. Thought I was gonna overpower him there. Huh. Come on now, come on around here all slow like that again. I had it. Oh, man. Oh, that was Lothar Frey right there. <laughs> the, the, I like the Lannister armor. I mean, the uh, Stark armors, but they did turn out a... Oh, there we go. Yana. They did turn out a little bit shiny. Uh, whenever I get back to messing with the armors again, I may go in there and see if I can. I'm sure there's some kind of um you know something i could toggle in in blender or, or, or substance painter that could cause those armors to, armors to quit not be quite so shiny but i think they turned out all right i mean this was the first of course i bought these i bought these uh models but i pretty much had to stretch them to fit onto the little skeleton i had to uh, make a you know the lead out a bunch of stuff i had to do i, I, mean, I actually learned a whole lot 
about how to work Blender, you know. And I actually think I know enough to maybe not make anything from scratch, but definitely take some armors and helmets and stuff like that and actually, you know, make some adjustments at least. So, you know, it's pretty pretty complicated. There we go. Rago the Blood Rider. Uh, if you haven't, if you uh, missed the last little uh, update video, I have a bunch of custom uh, custom uh, wanders, but for some reason they're kind of bugged out where, I mean, I gave them facial hair, but it didn't show up in the game. I mean, it didn't show up. I, I think there's some kind of little template. That, 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 I mean, I know there's a template that these wanders are under, and facial hair is not controlled by the actual facial uh, code that I give it from the character creator. It's com it's it's uh, controlled by oh I'm shot right that dude's head. It's controlled by a little perk that you give them, like Roman hair or like Roos hair. So we're still working on getting that right, but for right now they're in here. But they're pretty they're they're a bunch of bald face jokers. Kind of funny to see the hound with no no facial hair. Oh, oh. jeez, man. There we go. I like to get into some pretty decent battles. I don't want to just do. Uh, yeah, I don't want to just do tournaments this whole time. I'd like to actually. Who is this guy? Norbet. This is okay. Norbet Vance. I actually gave the Riverlands a scale armor. I mean it. I think probably the leather scale armor I think would probably go better, but I, I just thought that scale armor looked pretty cool, so I wanted to put it somewhere in the mod. So uh, I dropped it on on the uh, Riverlands. So the Riverlands are pretty well they're going up against my Bowman. Oh man, he just hit me with a beast. I have noticed in this 1.510 beta, it feels like these guys block better, you know, with their shields. So that's cool. It's a little bit, a little bit more of a challenge. Okay, we won us a tournament. Got us a heavy lamellar vest. And yeah, not better than what I got, but I'm gonna go ahead and get that 900. Save, I always save. Anytime you play in a mod, I would always recommend you save a lot and save multiple different saves. Uh, you never know. I mean, especially a mod like mine that's in this early of a dev development you don't want to get to the point where you corrupt your only save you know cause something's something's buggy so and sometimes your auto saves just don't don't want to work out right so i wouldn't completely depend on them hey tywin lannister just got here got another little tournament oh let's go ahead and show you the uh go ahead and show you the lannister armor i actually left this cheat menu in, you know, on I always forget, but let's go ahead and take my Stark stuff off. We're gonna check out what I what else is in the game right now for you guys that didn't watch the my little update what's new video. Okay, okay, okay. Start I think we'll get the helmets first. There's just so many, so much stuff to look through. Okay, I do have this Stark helmet in here, but the cloth physics for this little neck thing don't kind of do right. I think the top part looks pretty decent, but this bottom part just don't want to do right. So I, I prefer just this regular Northern helmet. You know, it's pretty easy and straightforward. So uh, that's that. That's one of the new ones. Got the Unsullied helmet. Here's my Unsullied helmet. I thought it turned out pretty good. But the next one we're gonna get to is the should be the Lannister helmet. I already passed that choker. I don't know how I missed the Lannister helmet. It's so bright. Okay, it's, oh here it is. There's my Lannister helmet. I think it looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and just keep on. We'll get the whole set so you can see the whole set. The next thing is going to be heading on down to the armors. 
This is my only Stark armor you didn't see, so we can skip on to the. Uh, be starting out with the Unsullied armor. Here's Unsullied. Here's my Lannister armor. Now we have to get the boots and the. Here's my Lannister van braces. Okay, the last thing we'll have is the. Let's see, got these unsullied sandals, and here's my Lannister boots. So with the whole set, this is my whole Lannister set right here, right now. No boots, van braces, armor, helmet. There's a cape too that'll be coming in the future, but I just, you know, I I I I, I got to mess around and figure out how to do all the cloth physics and all that mess. So uh, that'll be coming in the future, but I think that's a pretty nice looking armor. This is pretty much the reason why I bought that armor model right here for this Lannister armor. I knew that there's probably no way I'm anytime soon I was going to be able to create something like this. But, you know, it was on special. I was able to get these other other uh, models too, you know, all for like 100 bucks. So let's go ahead and check out the Unsullied while we're in here. We'll move on with our lives. The Unsullied Sandals. So right there, that's the whole Unsullied set. There is a pair of gloves, but I'm still... Gauntlets uh, and gloves, you know, having with the finger bones are a real pain in the ass right now. So, I mean, that's another thing I got to learn. But there will be gloves in the future, but that's the whole Unsullied for right now. So there we go. Let's get our, let's get our uh, Stark crap back on. Okay, and also with the Stark armor, you could put those fur, any of those fur... Thing, Batanian fur, you know, bear skin or wolf skin or uh, whatever looks good with this armor. So you can put that on there for a neck piece. Uh, I'd like to have that little metal, you know, have like a for a shoulder, have like the shoulder pads, you know, the chrome looking shoulder pads and the little chrome little neck piece. Maybe have that, you know, neck piece that's got the little two little uh, wolves on it, you know, maybe in the future. We'll see. We'll see. I'd love to be able to throw on. Make this a, you know, make this go from a Stark armor to a heavy Stark armor just by, you know, popping on, you know, a good, a nice shoulder armor. So, there you go. Let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and move on. Let's get rid of this crap. Let's see. What happened? Okay, put my Nightlands back on. So we're gonna go ahead and take part in this this tournament right here in in Lannisport. So this will give us a chance to to check out. Oh yeah, we got some we got some Westerlanders out here now. So that gives us a chance to see. Oh, we're going up against Jamie Lannister right now. He's just a a wanderer, so he don't have his armor on. But this but that's one of the cool things about having your own mod. I can do what I want to do. I, would, I wanted to have Jamie Lannister lead my parties, so I made him a wanderer. You know what I'm saying? If I'd have put him in Clan Lann Lannister, he would have just been stuck there because they're a ruling clan. You wouldn't have been doing nothing but fighting them forever. So um, I like Jamie, so I, I, I made him a wanderer. Same way with Tyrion, same way with a lot of guys. I mean, no, I don't want to forfeit. Let's go ahead and skip the rounds. Okay, now we got Joffrey Baratheon. A Reach Bowman and a Westerland. So, okay. So, it looks like we're going to fight Joffrey. Can't remember if he has the Stark armor on or not. He should. I mean, not the, the Lannister armor. Yeah, there he is. Check out this Joffrey. Oh, almost took him out. I'm going to try to take everybody out but Joffrey and have a showdown. Okay, yeah, we're about to take out this Reach Bowman, hopefully. All right, me and Joffrey, check it out. It's a little goofy head. There we go. Okay. Oh yeah, I had that perk where you knock, knock the guys down. Go get off the horse. Come on. Come on, Joffrey. He's pretty short. Look at him. <laughs> Spears for me. <laughs> oh, look at him. Oh, I could zoom in on. Hey, photo mode. How do you zoom in? Oh, oh. Shit. Look, it's like I'm just looking. It's like I'm flexing up over here, man. Check it out. 
I ain't got good with photo mode yet. I wish I could get lower. Hey, get how do you go down? Hold the button. Let's see. Anyways, we'll move on. Oh, here I, I matched up with, with Joffrey again. And we're going in with a bill hook. Get out of here, man. My athletics is slowly going up. Alright, we're matched up with a Westerlands Knight. Oh, a straight up one-handed sword, man. He ain't got a chance. At least he's fully decked out in Lannister. Stark and Lannister, man. That's what it's all about right here. Alright, get out of here, bro. Reinforced leather van braces. Well, Hunter, that's a nice sum. I'd like to. Rec Let's go ahead and talk to Tywin while we're right here. Talk to Army Leader. There he is. Check it out. Tywin freaking Lancer, the Warden of the West. Okay. What I need to do is I need to fight because I got that one. Let's, let me check something real fast. Ah oh, hell, I'm about to I'm about to lose this mission. Unless I find a somebody to fight real quick. Oh it ain't gonna this ain't gonna work, is it? Eight looters ain't gonna do it. I need like a part I need like a decent sized party of looters somewhere. Come on, y'all. Six, come on. Forty three, there we go. All right, all right. All right, sweet, nice. I don't care if this thing, if this can't level up one uh, bar of tree, then this is gonna suck ass. All right, let's get my let's get my let's get my guys out here in front right here. Let's put them right here. Get moving. Spread, out. Spread out. I'm gonna go ahead and tell my shield walls. There we go. That's still 43, man. They got us highly outnumbered, you know. Yeah, I got better soldiers. Hopefully my archers can take out a nice little chunk of them. They should be shooting now. I don't know why they ain't shooting. Looks like we are, even though they had the numbers. Okay, they're, they're, I saw a couple deaths. Oh, that's quite a few there. I think I saw like four or five people die. That's a good thing, because that way my medicine seal goes up, you know? Okay, we'll go ahead and see. Nobody died. They got 4.3 right now because I was outnumbered right there. Sweet. My barred troop. There he goes. Mission accomplished. Let's see. Northern soldiers. Get him up. That's about all I want to do right now. Send them back. There we go. Give me all this stuff. I'm up to 30k. Am I riding? Let's see. Well strap, increase your mount's hit points by 20%. Mounts of your commanded troops have 10% more points. Veterinary, halves the chance of your mount becoming lame or dead after it falls in battle. Governed settlements gain 0.5 prosperity a day. Okay, they want my mounted troops to have 10% more hit points. Is it about hit points or 0.5% prosperity? Hmm. I don't really care about the half the chance to become mount uh become lame or dead uh of mount becoming lame or dead after battle. Okay, so I don't care about that because once a ha a horse becomes lame, it's no good because it's slower. So 
think I'll have to go with Will Strat, man. Maybe I'll regret not taking that prosperity. But uh, there we go. I think I'm going to see if I can pick up a few more Reach troops while I'm down here. Let's check out how much the... Okay, I'm still only getting 63 here. I'm going to go ahead and change the production. I know it don't make sense, but I think wine might be better up there because the, the actual town I put up there for Castle Black had, uh, you know, had good good uh, prices on wine. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and change that to wine and see if it starts making more money. 60, 64 and they'll cut it. If it's a hundred, hundred feet over a hundred consistently, I could I could hang with. It. I mean, I could handle that, but not 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 the sixty four consistently. Against stolen goods. Let's go ahead and trade. Get that stuff. Another 400. We're going to keep on going through the reach. You don't, I have a really, really loose uh, nav mesh, so you can probably just walk through most of these rivers. But, I mean, for immersion's sake, just, just take the damn bridges, man. You don't have to walk through the rivers. I mean, gang leaders need weapons. Okay, I, I don't think I, how many I have? Let's see. Okay, I got four. Let's see how many's in the shop. I got two here, so I got five. And even these sickles, I could buy these if I wanted to. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take it. Either way, it should be some kind of profit. Okay, you need nine. Let's see how much money I have to dump on these things. Okay, I had four, so I need five. Two, three, two, four, five. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna have to pay nine forty four. I think I'm gonna so this is look I quit fifteen hundred. Plus, I think I got a little bit of charm, I think. Or at least I got a little bit now. Love up some of these troops. Okay. Is there a tournament or something going on? Gotta get some troops. Oh, oh here we go. Here's the mother load of Reach troops. Let's head on over to the Stormlands. In a way, I kind of want to go to, uh, I want to be a mercenary for somebody. Getting about that time. You know that Stormland guy. Do this little. I guess I could do that bounty hunter thing or whatever. Mission. Oh. Yeah, I had some dude on my Discord kind of try to call me out and be like, "Oh man, you have, you know that the, that the uh, Lannisters and the Stormlands and the Reach are all based off 14th century European weapons and armor." I was like, "You shouldn't." He said, "He said you shouldn't be having Eastern axes with them." And I was like, "Man, I mean." Dude, I'll have whatever weapons I want, man. I'm like, I don't know why people think that they have this preconceived notion that everything's got to be, you know, absolutely perfect. Like, I decided to make Jamie Lannister and Tyrion Lannister a companion. Now, when are they going to talk shit about that? What about me deciding to make Tormund Gi Giantsbane and Jon Snow have their own clan? You know, for the simple reason to make the game funner. You know what I'm saying? Everybody wants to get Jon Snow. You know what I'm saying? Everybody would love to be a king of a kingdom and have Jon Snow as one of their vassals and sees Jon Snow lined up over there. But let me just put him in, let me put him in Jorah Mormont's, you know, uh, you know, ruling clan and he ain't going to be nothing but for Jorah Mormont the whole game. I mean, there's really, literally nothing 
I mean, you would literally have not never. You might get to fight him, but you'll never have him on your team. So I'm willing to make some, you know, some changes and mix mess mess the lore up just a little bit in order to make a game, you know, funner in Banner Lores and the way Banner Lord does things. You know what I'm saying? Uh, right now, this is a you know, this is pretty much Game of Thrones in Banner Lord. I mean, I'm not. It's still early access. We're not digging around through code and and turning Banner Lord into Game of Thrones. This is still just trying to fit fit uh you know Game of Thrones the best you can into the Banner Lord way of do, doing things. So that's where I'm at right now. I mean, I'm not gonna go in, you know, get some you know professional coder and figure out how to change some shit and then come next update, it has to be done all over again because Tellworth decided to finally add you know some some better you know alliances or something like that you know what i'm saying so that's where we're at we're just trying to get a fun game of thrones rep representation in banner lord you know and just work in the way in the whole you know banner lord you know clans kingdoms you know everything you know doing it all tournaments caravans you know we, we're, we're we're playing game of thrones banner lord we're not playing uh, 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 you know, Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones. So it, it kind of is what it is right now. So, and plus, yeah, I want to try to stay lore accurate the best I can. But it ain't my number one goal. I mean, I think if you want to want something to be lore accurate, you, I mean, if you want something to be, you know, 14th century European, you need to go find a 14th century European mod, you know? Uh, and then you can, you know, you can play as France and versus England or, or whatever you want to do. You know, the Scots versus the damn, you know, Irish or whatever. I mean, you do whatever you want to do. You need to go find you a, you know, something like that, man. And then you can hold them accountable. That's the whole, you know, whole thing they're trying to accomplish there. So, all right. Anyways, I'm off my little tirade. Boy, I don't even know what I won right there. Oh, some freaking throwing axes. Okay, once again, we're going to save. Let's see who's at war right now. Uh, let's go to the kingdoms. That's one thing I was noticing right now. It seems like a lot of the kingdoms are at peace a lot. So if I could find somebody at war. Let's see. They're not at war. Dorne, not at war. Dothraki's not at war. Dragonstone's not at war. The Free Folk. The Free Folk ain't even at war. House Targaryen, no. Iron Islands, no. Loreth. Lease. Kind of hard to find a war right now. See, the Night's Watch aren't even at war with anybody. Nor. Looks like Norvos is at war with a rebel faction. Check out Pentos. It's like they're at war with the same faction. Cohort. Oh, there's a lot of rebellions going on over there. Maybe I need to check out, you know, head over to Essos. Check out the Riverlands. Salt Pans. Oh, okay. Apparently there's a lot of rebellions going on. Okay, so here we go. This is actually the one situation I really don't want to do. The North is at war with the Westerlands right now. The whole problem is, is I have a, a workshop in King's Landing and I have a workshop in in uh, Winterfell. So I actually want to stay away from that one because I don't want to, you know, it's early in the game. I don't want to lose that, uh, what you call it, that, uh, that, in, that income right now. Reach, nobody's, Reach ain't fighting nobody. Well, the Ve seems like the Veil don't fight nobody much either. So I guess it's kind of out of the out of the. Uh, they're fighting the Brotherhood without banners and north. Yeah, so it looks like we're not able to join as a as a mercenary clan right now until some somebody else goes to war. So maybe we'll, we'll find us a pretty decent. Okay, I ain't doing no stinking tools mission. We will slowly build up. Uh, build up our soldiers and maybe we'll just go fight some because there's a bunch of small kingdoms maybe i'll just go fight some 
you know, some small kingdom somewhere, you know? Get some Dragonstone recruits. Harder to trade. Oh, that was a noble uh, Dragonstone recruit right there. I just got Stormlands noble son. That's a couple of them. Oh yeah, and if you hadn't ever checked out this mod, I didn't skimp on the, on the troop trees. So there's noble troop trees and regular troop trees for literally all the all the all the uh, factions I've created. You know, I did. You know, I I, I did it all. So okay. Looks like I'm getting a pretty good amount of money. Let's check it out. Man, the damn wine press still ain't doing any good. So apparently the workshops are still jacked up. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this. Let's change this. Let's change it to a a brewery, man. It seems like maybe I'm just gonna have to have a bunch of breweries every damn where. So check it out. We got Sandor Clegane, Kyburn, Miranda, Lord Varys, Taken Haga. So we're not gonna get any of those guys, but let's go ahead and save first. Let's go ahead and just do this little mission. This video is getting kind of long. I don't want to be it, it to be all night, so we're just gonna go ahead and just do our, you know, maybe do a, another just a little bit longer. Maybe get to see some more Lannisters in action. Who's this guy right here? Oh, a mercenary crossbowman. All right, here we go. Get out of here, man. Who is this? Is this Miranda? It seems like I go up against her a lot. Whoa, she looks like like Carrie from, the, you know, the, the scary movie or whatever. Westlands Horseman. Round. Okay, now that we're going up against Miranda again, Kyburn, and a Westerlands horseman. Oh, we on horses. Ah, oh, man, I just whiffed. Kyburn's gone. Let's get Miranda out of here next. Hit, hit her horse. I might take Miranda out and 1v1 the horseman. Oh, got her off the horse. Ah, yeah. Will ain't stab. There you go. <laughs> uh. All right, dang, I'm about to meet up with this guy again. On foot this time. I'm gonna try my little backup move. Oh, he's stabbing. I can oh. get that hell out of here. Okay, another Western and Spear, but at least we got to see some. See some. Uh, Westerland's action. That back and forth, man. That uh, it's just like it just works, man. It works versus the computer. I mean, I know I, know I ain't big on on uh, multiplayer, but I'm sure that shit don't work versus people. But it works versus the computer. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and close this thing down. I don't wanna. Keep you guys all day. We're gonna make another video soon. This is pretty much just a, I'm testing out looking for I'm bug hunting right now. And it's been hard because I mean I got a bunch of people playing this mod, but everybody wants to play with a whole bunch of other mods, man. So I'm playing this thing with no mods. So that way if something weird happens, I mean it's guaranteed it's my mod if it ain't 1.510 beta. So that's the plan. I'm gonna play this a little bit longer. I'm gonna try to, you know, create me a kingdom, you know, take some castles, do some sieges, just make sure every all the basics at least work right. And then after I kind of confirmed that no mods plays pretty pretty fun, then I'll get back to, you know, actually, you know, developing. So that's the plan. All right, that's all I got for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time.